Good afternoon, everybody. I just wanted to show you what uh, the temperature is in my backyard. This weather station I have set up is 10 feet off the ground, and it's right over my raised beds. You can see inside it's 77. That's where we have our air conditioning set at. But outside it's 118 today. Record heat, high pressure building. I call it the monsoon height because we need this high heat to act as a vacuum to start the southerly and southeasterly flow of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and also from the Gulf of California to start our Arizona monsoon season. Something that's been lacking in the past two years, but because the jet stream is now up into Canada, for the first time in a couple years, we're gonna have, it looks like a normal to maybe even above normal monsoon season. But you can see the dew point keeps climbing. So that means the surface moisture is climbing. It shows 61 degrees, but I guarantee it's probably only in the low 50s in the valley. But because my backyard has more moisture, it's a lot higher. But I wanted to go over what helps me and what's been a big difference in our home is our microclimates. This is kind of an update from the one I shot last July. I want to go show you what our neighborhood looks like and what my house looks like. So we're looking down my street. This is the typical landscape in the Phoenix area. Nothing but hot thermal radiation rock and asphalt and concrete, which makes it much more hotter. It's a lot hotter that way with the, all the solar radiation off this stuff. And that's the way my yard looked about three years ago. And then two years ago, I started planting a lot of stuff. I was luckily enough, lucky enough to have a large sisal tree in my front yard to start off with a microclimate because that added a lot of shade and sun protection from our hot summer days and even frost protection in the winter when it gets down into the 30s and even upper 20s. But you can see everybody has rock yards. And then I got this. Lots of green fruits. We got the guavas, the pomegranates, some mangoes back there, mango trees, Surinam cherry, Barbados cherry, some more pomegranates. And then moving over to the front yard, I planted a heat loving, very tropical Royal Ponciana. Love that tree. Beautiful landscape. Had a little patch of grass. But then we got our flower garden, got our date palm, and all our fruit trees. Some blue out there, a couple of peach trees, pecan, got some sunflowers, Jamaican cherry. I was kind of worried about it, but it's starting to get some more green growth, but it has tons of cherries on it. It just loves the heat. It wanted to flush out with some fruit before it started putting the leaves on. There's our orange and passion fruit, plum, peach tree, some zucchini I've been harvesting. But I saw another one in here. Hey, there's another one right there. It's about ready. This is our lemon tree, apple trees. Wildflowers, jujubes. Just planted this thing. It's already got tons of jujubes on it. There's my sweet potatoes. The sweet almond bush is back to the roof again. Got some longevity spinach here that can come out and eat all the time. This is in full sun. Another baby tree, peach tree that I planted. My Burbank. This is another good example of microclimate. 
as microclimates can be anywhere from square feet to square miles. But this is uh, very protected for my bananas. So you can see it's a windy day. Bananas not getting too much wind damage because it's protected by the block walls, which get the heat in the winter time because it's on the south facing and there's not going to be anything really much left on the moringa in the winter time. It'll be a little bit to keep it uh, from getting frost damage, but it still gets pretty cold. But the banana is thriving in this corner. It loves being under the moringa. Great microclimate. Deep mulch. And in my back you can see two years ago I planted just a small one gallon pot of old hammy eye bamboo. That thing is almost as tall as my gabled end of my house. Pushing, what is that? Almost 16, 18 feet. And this thing poking up over the fence. Believe it or not, so at 12 feet, that's my stinking Zutano avocado. It's trying to outpace the Moringa that was protecting it. It's going insane this year. So we'll go into our other microclimate back here. All this, all the finches and hummingbirds back here having a field day. They're flying all around here. Look at those little things. Now this microclimate is because of the block fence and the moringa providing shade and shelter and these avocados have just been exploding this year. They must be getting a lot of nitrogen so they're not going to develop any fruit for a while until they get done growing. With star fruit and ice cream bean back there, that's a nitrogen fixer. Other pomegranate coming through this tunnel here. Look at all these finches. <laughs> They're having fun. And back here's another microclimate. Lots of tropicals. Some hummingbirds over there too. Look at all these birds in here. They love it back here. How many yards in the desert have these finches and hummingbirds and all kinds of other critters that just love being here? Beautiful hummingbird. On my blackberry jam fruit very tropical behind there the joy perfume tree is looking like it's uh, like in that spot next to the house protecting it from cold and harsh sun it's underneath the bamboo canopy just like the avocado and the gingers there's my edible ginger that came up Look at these hummingbirds under here there's a they like to come right up to me all the time I love being in here. I like coming out here in the morning. Here's the peanut butter fruit, another ultra tropical. I am uh, doing very well with those in this area. Getting lots of mulch and protection. Sugar cane starting to shade the house and protecting our house from getting overheated on the western wall. Tiger Panache figs, getting lots of figs on it. Pecan trees as tall as me. My new graft, King David, is doing very nice. He's keeping the chickens away from that. These sunflowers came up on their own because I had those mammoth sunflowers last year and some seeds must have transplanted themselves. Fuji apple, just planted this this year. It's already as tall as me doing nicely chickens are having fun chickens need lots of shade to survive this desert heat these extreme temperatures you can tell they're hot but they're doing well because they're underneath all the shade underneath my mulberries they stay underneath my avocado over there they dig holes to keep cool and the sprinklers come on in the morning and also in the afternoon keep them cool looks like my elderberry is getting a little crispy right there but it, I gave it some mulch yesterday from the chicken coop so as long as it survives this week it should do fine because it's getting lots of berries on it 
Lots of elderberries. My pear trees are already pushing 10 feet. But look at the mulberry. 